So after the face-off over freebies, now it's the Amadi Party versus BJP on the Delhi Jal Board. BJP has levelled the charge that over 1,51,000 crore was waved off by the Amadi Party government, and it's all unexplained. So there is a fresh row that has also now erupted. Maria Shakila, political editor, now joining us on the broadcast. Maria, talk to us about the allegations that are being levelled by the BJP. Yes, so the BJP is now saying is that uh, the uh, the CAG report has not been tabled by the Amarni Party in the assembly. Why is the question? Because they say that all this is linked to the fact that there was an audit that was done of Delhi uh, Jal Board, uh, Bijli or the electricity, and also of DTC. And in all this, essentially, corruption of Amarni Party has come to the light. They are talking about that uh, DTC, for example, is suffering a loss of uh, thirty-eight thousand seven hundred fifty-three crores. They have further cited that, as far as uh, Delhi Jal Board is concerned, the RTIs have shown that uh, if, that again that uh, board is suffering with a huge loss as well. So the larger question again is that uh, the BJP says that it because it, uh, it the Amadi Party, according to the BJP, has actually siphoned off this money. And has started using this for other purposes. They have also said that Arvind Kejriwal and his party, uh, the Facebook account, uh, is actually run by Karnataka, by by Canada, uh, by someone based out of Canada. So the the question being raised of national security, something that the BJP did also during the Punjab elections in the last few days, uh, but it did not really yield them any electoral dividends. And now uh, the Delhi Jal board being put on the center table as far as the ongoing face-off between the BJP and the Amadi party is concerned. Maria, so you said there are serious charges. There is. I want to just understand what is this amount that the BJP is referring to that has been siphoned off? Yes, so the BJP says that that an amount of close to 1,51,000 uh, crore has been uh, waved off, and uh, what they say is that this is not waving off, but rather corruption of the Aam Aadmi Party, which is on display. One, uh, they then they go on to say that in the last uh, uh, several years, the CAG report, which was uh, you know uh, which which highlighted these concerns, has not been tabled by the Aam Aadmi Party in the assembly. They have also raised further questions related to the Delhi Transport Corporation. They have talked about also in the context of Delhi Jal Board. Okay. They go on to say that if anything, that uh, when uh, when the Aam Aadmi Party announces freebies in the form of electricity and others, it is essentially the corruption that they indulge in, which is the primary focus. Okay, Maria, thanks a lot for getting us all those details. BJP's RP Singh also now joining us on the broadcast. So good to have you on the broadcast with us. What are these charges that are being levelled by the BJP? Well, it's not our charges. The CAG report, which is saying so, and we are just highlighting the CAG report. Uh, there is under there is a lot of discrepancies. Accounts has not been uh, shown. Accounts there is no tally of accounts. No balance sheet has been made for many years of the jal board. I mean, they are running a jal board like a, uh, some personal uh, household filled them. I mean, I mean, they have no records, no data, no no accounts. But you don't run a government organization like that, and it needs a complete inquiry. Uh, the people who have been chairman of the jail board, people of the vice chairman of the jail board, running the jail board here without any any data, any any figure, any account. How can you run an organization? When you can't be run a house without proper maintenance of proper account system. But how can you run a such a big organization? And then it's the CAG which has been saying again and again, again that there is no accounting system in the uh, jail board. There are no balance sheets being produced uh, by the jail board for many years now. Okay, so two things that I want to understand. So essentially, you're saying uh, by quoting the CAG report that one lakh fifty-one thousand crore was not waived off, but you feel that it was possibly siphoned. At this point, what is the BJP wanting? Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, they need to table those report in the assembly. They don't table the report in the assembly. Then they don't answer the CAG on the CAG report, and then they don't produce the balance sheet of the uh, Delhi Jal Board. Uh, can there be organization uh, within the government system being run without a balance sheet, without any documentation, without any profit and loss? I mean, you are, it's a pure anarchist system. They are doing it so because they have they are in power and they can probably think they think probably they can do with it. But ultimately, 
Some check has to be brought to it. That's why inquiry needs to be held. And, and I'm telling you today, women's inquiry is held is a very big scam. That's, it's the mother of all scam in the country. So you're raising some very uh, important questions, but also leveling very serious charges as far as the Amagni party is concerned. You're saying just because they think in, they're in power, so this corruption is getting a free run. How deep do you think this rot is then? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm saying categorically that the higher-ups in the JAL board, including the people who have been holding the post of the chairman, the vice chairman, people who have been politically appointed there, they are part of it. The scam. Otherwise, how can there be a company, organization, government setup run without producing account accounting system or without having a balance sheet for many years together? Okay. Mr. Api Singh, I'll just request you to stay on with us. The Delhi BJP chief, uh, Adish Gupta, is also now joining us on the broadcast. Uh, good to have you on the broadcast uh, with us. As Mr. R.P. Singh was pointing out that we are just quoting what the CAG report has said. But just talk to our viewers. What are the red flags for you as far as the CAG report is concerned? Yes. CAG has been in the past seven years. दिल्ली जल बोर्ड को और दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट को 22 पत्र लिखे 22 पत्र लिखे लेटर्स और ये कहा कि आप जो सत्तावन हजार से ज्यादा पैसा आपने जो खर्चा किया है उसका आप हिसाब किताब दीजिए उसके अकाउंट दीजिए लेकिन उसके बाद भी कोई हिसाब किताब नहीं दिया कोई भी अगर मामूली से मामूली आदमी अगर हजार रूपए भी खर्चा करता उसका हिसाब किताब होता है लेकिन दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट छोटा मोटा अकाउंट अमाउंट नहीं है सत्तावन हजार करोड़ रुपए का कोई हिसाब किताब नहीं दिया इसका मतलब हिसाब किताब वो नहीं देता जो बेईमान होता है जो भ्रष्टाचार जिसने किया जिसके पास कोई अकाउंट नहीं है तो ये अभी तक नहीं दे पाया सीएजी रिपोर्ट में इस बात का हवाला है जो अभी सीएजी रिपोर्ट जो इन्होंने टेबल की दो मिनट के लिए असेंबली के अंदर उसमें भी इस बात का हवाला है लेकिन अभी तक दिल्ली सरकार दिल्ली जल बोर्ड के क्या आपने खर्चे किए हैं कहाँ किए हैं कोई हिसाब किताब नहीं है क्या आपने एक्सपेंस किए कोई हिसाब किताब नहीं है तो ये जल बोर्ड का एक बहुत बड़ा स्कैम है और आम आदमी पार्टी की सरकार जल बोर्ड में वैसे ही वो कहते थे कि टैंकर सम बंद कर देंगे ये टैंकर का एक बहुत बड़ा घोटाला है लेकिन वही टैंकर माफिया आज भी एक्टिव है जी तो आपका कहना है कि ये बहुत बड़ा स्कैम है जल बोर्ड को लेकर काफी सारी डिस्क्रिपेंसीज हैं खर्चों को लेकर तो बीजेपी की क्या मांग है अब इसको इसको ओपन करना चाहिए और जो इसमें दोषी है उनके खिलाफ कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए दिल्ली सरकार को करनी चाहिए कार्रवाई ओके दैट वॉज आदेश गुप्ता द डेली बीजेपी चीफ एन आर पी सिंह ऑफ द बीजेपी दे आर नाउ सिंग दैट वी वॉन्ट अरो इन्वेस्टिगेशन बिकॉज दिस इज अ स्कैम which is much more than what meets the eye in this corruption right from the top level. We'll keep tracking all these developments. For now, we're slipping into a very short break.